Oh, it was fun, you know, getting out there and playing with the guys. Instead of, you know, just playing against them in practice, it was great, um, you know, getting a good team vibe and stuff like that. You guys have some, have some size on this team. Do you feel like you guys might be able to use that as maybe a real strength? Oh, definitely. How you guys play? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there was, um, you know, a few times down in Italy where it was just like we did a four, uh, a four out, one in motion, and, you know, we just had AJ or one of the big guys down there, and we were trying to, you know, get them open and feed them. So, I mean, we're definitely going to take advantage of that this year. So how did you think the true freshmen played over there? I think they played great. Um, you know, uh, Ray Phil came in, got an MVP for one of the games. Um, Ronnie did Ronnie did great. You get in the ball at the court. Uh, AJ did great down low. Um, and then uh, I forget anybody. Yeah, they all. I mean, they all did great. It was a. It was great to you know see him get in there and you know know the offense that we've been running and everything. You know, uh, just working hard and playing hard. And that's all that really matters. So they. What were just some of the sights like that you might have seen on TV or in postcards in the past, and now you saw them in person? What was that like? Oh, it was, it was great. Um, you know, just seeing it in real life and getting to see like how much detail it was really in the, you know, some of the statues that you see on, you know, in your history books and stuff like that, and to get to see it up close, it was, it was amazing. Did you like? I mean, you got to see the Vatican City, the Colosseum, Lake Como, Venice. A lot of, a lot of different looks over there. We asked DJ if he had a chance to go back again, just on his own. Would he go? Would you go if given another chance to go to Italy? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it was a, it was a great oh. time. You know, maybe go in the future. You know, whenever you're older, you know, bring your family. There's a great place to go. You know, great experience that you know you don't always get to go to. So there's a great one. You know. Once in a lifetime opportunity. Were you surprised that you guys enjoyed that element of it so much? Because you know, it seemed like everywhere you went, there were pictures on the internet. You know, like, oh yeah. wow, this is cool. Because usually it's a business trip. Yeah, yeah. Was, I mean, it was great to uh, actually get to go and have that much free time just to see everything and kind of relax and uh, you know, still be there for business, of course. You know, you get better and everything, but to have that much time just to relax and you know, to take in everything, it was really nice. What did you enjoy the most from those sites I mentioned? Man, uh, that's a good question. I got that a couple of times. I think it changed every time. I mean, every time I answered, <laughs> you think that you go back and you think you see all those great, you know, great things. But um, you know, I guess. Um, you know, just seeing, you know, seeing with your eyes, just seeing Lake Como and how, you know, how beautiful it was and just how like, the water off the, off the mountain and everything, it was, was a really good experience. Now, this had to be a doubly fun trip for you because mom and dad got to be there, right? Uh, did, you know, can you tell us how much that meant to you and, and just the story behind how long it had been since you'd actually seen them? Uh, obviously, it meant a lot. I was, I was waiting for that the whole summer since, like, the first workout. And actually, they surprised me in Florence because originally they planned to come only on Venice and Lake Como last two games. But they showed up uh, to Florence too, which was really huge. And they actually haven't seen me play in like for four years now, since like a junior year in high school. So it's really been great. I don't know, I can't even describe that, how I felt like when I saw them there and like the whole crew and how enthusiastic they were too to see me. It was. Undescribable. I feel like you've taken maybe a little bit of a step forward as a player this this offseason between the trip in Europe and those practices. I think so. Yeah, like the that all came from like last year, the end of the last year, when I started mm -hmm. with playing well, and that momentum just carried the as I talked to Coach Pena, just to carry that momentum in the summer, which I did, and that was just what mm -hmm. kept me up and just kept me going this harder and harder every day mm -hmm. and improving. And I think I got a really good momentum for the preseason. And next season, just build it up and Fine. should be a good spot. Cool. Have you ever been to Italy when you lived over yeah, there? Yeah, I've been there. Like I've been in Venice. That was, that was my third time there. Oh, really? And that was my second time in Rome. Mm -hmm. So I pretty much knew the way around. <laughs> but I haven't been in Florence, which was really nice to see. And especially Lake Como finished with that. It was a beautiful lake. That first day we came, it was like a nice day. It was probably like 90 outside on the lake. It was just beautiful.